Hi guys, it's Kath. Today, I'm introducing you to the newest member of my 3D printer collection. This is the Kokoni EC3 and it's the smallest printer I've ever used. You know I love miniatures and this little thing really hits the mark. At only 9 inches tall and 7.5 and inches wide, it's about the same size as my tiny little soda fridge. This printer shipped in this big box. It comes with two extra spools of filament that I'll show you in just a bit. The printer itself comes fully assembled and you just need to plug in the power cord. As you can see, it's a really compact device. I love this open window where you can see everything that's going on. On the back is a filament cartridge and a power button. It's already loaded with white filament so there's nothing for me to do here. Here is the extruder nozzle and the build plate. The build plate is pretty small at only 3 inches wide and 2.5 and inches tall. It's not heated, but has this great texture that helps adhere the model when printing. It's also magnetic, so removing it and putting it back on is a breeze. But how does it print? Like most modern printers, this uses an app. I downloaded the Kokoni app straight from the App Store and got to work. The first test I've run on any new printer is using a design from their own gallery. This gallery is pretty extensive, so it's great for those just starting out. I chose this vase with a spiral texture. A few clicks in the app and the print begins. It prints in this white filament that was already installed on the printer. It was going really well at first, but then the filament stopped extruding. I figured the strand of filament must have snapped during shipping, so I replaced it with a new one. As I mentioned earlier, the printer came with two extra spools. The spools are encased in these cartridges that easily attach to the back of the printer and will automatically load. There's one spool of orange and a spool of black. Let's go for orange. This time, the vase printed perfectly. The level of detail is also pretty impressive. It did take a while for the print to complete, but I expected that. And it's quiet enough to let run in the background while you do other things. Let me show you again how to change the filament. You select replace filament in the app, scan the code underneath the new cartridge, and then wait 4 minutes for the filament to heat up. This will remove the current filament from the printer and pull it back into the spool. The printer will beep once that's done. Remove this little clip. Push on the black piece and pull the filament tube up. Remove the old cartridge by turning this little airplane shaped switch and pulling it off. Install a new cartridge, and then click Next in the app. It will heat up again for 4 minutes and load the filament through the guide tube. I'm using black this time. Here, I test printed a little chess piece also from the gallery. One of the things I was most excited to try was this object modeling feature on the Kokoni app. It's supposed to create a printable model from a series of pictures. I decided to test this out with this old Xbox controller. It'll take you through how to take 25 photos of your objects from every angle. Then it'll upload these photos and generate a model that you can print. 
It took me a few tries to get this to work perfectly, but once it did, I could see so many uses for this feature. This little Xbox controller that I printed out is super cute. Add a little paint and it's ready for my dollhouse. Another thing I wanted to test was how easy it would be to print my own designs. I designed this easy model of the popular IKEA dollhouse just to test it out. As usual, I love using Tinkercad to model my pieces because it's very simple and free. This is just a series of flat rectangles that make up the floors, walls, and roof. It's a super easy model to print as it doesn't require any support. It's really perfect for beginners. Uploading my own design required me to use a separate link, but it was pretty straightforward. This tends to be the case for printers that exclusively use a phone app without a built-in software SD card or USB drives. And here is the finished dollhouse. It printed very smoothly and without any issues. I installed this white filament back on a printer just to make sure that it works. Overall, this printer is super easy to use, and I love that there is literally no assembly required. You just power the machine up, and it's ready to go. It's so compact that I can easily keep it on my desk while it works away bringing my designs to life. A few things to take into consideration is that it currently only works with their own filament cartridges. This makes it really easy for beginners, but it might not be the best option for those who already have a lot of filament. Also, the speed isn't the fastest and the build plate is quite small. That's not a problem for me as I only design miniatures, but it might impact you if you need bigger projects done at a faster pace. It is a beginner printer, so keep that in mind. There aren't many things that you can easily customize like using other filament, changing out the nozzle, or moving the extruder around freely. However, that's what makes this so simple for beginners. You just take it out of the box and it's ready to go. There's no installing filament or leveling the bed because that's all done for you. It's very helpful to get you started on your 3D printing journey. You won't need to worry about all the little things that tend to go wrong on bigger and more complicated machines. There's a very low learning curve so it's very easy for beginners who've never printed anything before. It's never too late to learn a new skill and I promise you it'll open up so many possibilities. Beginner printers like this are fantastic at stimulating a child's creativity and would also make a great gift for kids. I'll see you next time with a new tutorial. Bye!